You're watching Cary TV. Hello, I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary. And I'm District B Council Representative Don France, and this is Cary Matters. We created this program to help keep you informed about issues that council members are working on for our community. That's right. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the Page Walker Hotel since it's celebrating its 150th anniversary this year. The Page Walker Hotel, currently known as the Page Walker Arts and History Center, is one of the oldest structures in Cary and is located on the Town Hall campus. It hosts classes, events, concerts, social gatherings, and exhibitions of history and the fine arts. It is a wonderful place to learn about our town's history and art from around the region. Just like the hotel, we need to start this episode of Cary Matters with a foundation. The hotel was initially bought by Cary's founder, Allison Francis Frank Page, in popular French Second Empire architectural style. The Page family operated the hotel until 1884, when it was sold to Jacob and Helen Walker, who, along with their family, uh, operated the hotel until 1926. In 1941, John Williams, a former railroad employee, purchased the hotel for use as his private residence where, behind the hotel, he actually built circus wagons and kept ponies for his dog and pony shows. Oh, so that's where dog and pony <laughs> shows came from. In 1971, it was sold to Bob Strother, who had it listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. In 1985, the town bought the hotel in agreement with the newly incorporated Fringe of the Page Walker Hotel. The hotel underwent a massive renovation, and on December 4th, 1994, the Page Walker Arts and History Center became fully operational. Wow. That's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of very interesting information and background. Well, this year, the town is partnering with the Friends of the Page Walker to celebrate the hotel's 150th anniversary. During the holiday season, there will be an open house with the opportunities to step back in time to the hotel's early days in the Victorian era. The center will be beautifully decorated with holiday trimmings along with activities for all ages, including crafts, cookies, and cider. Don't forget about the carriage rides. Oh, how could I have forgotten about the carriage rides? Yep, gotta have the carriage rides. The open house starts on December 1st at 3 p.m. I'll be in attendance. So will I. And other council members will be in attendance, and we're gonna recognize the 150th anniversary with an official proclamation and participate in some fun activity. We hope to see everyone there, but if you can't make it to the open house, I encourage you to find another time to visit the Page Walker to appreciate the architectural features both preserved and recreated. The Cary Heritage Museum, located on the third floor of the Page Walker, is also a must-see. The museum, created and funded by the Friends of the Page Walker, includes artifacts and a display of the timeline of Cary's history, starting with Frank Page and up until the creation of the museum. The Friends of the Page Walker also provides a guided tour of all three floors with some truly great stories about the facility. Wow. I hope that in your visit to the Page Walker, you will take some time to experience all the building and its grounds have to offer, including the educational opportunities, rotating art exhibits, the Page Smokehouse, and the Ann B. Kratzer Educational Garden. To find out more about the Page Walker, visit our website at townofcary.org and search for Page Walker. Well, that's it for this edition of Cary Matters. Your time is important, and we hope that what we've shared has been valuable to you as we work to bring you closer to your government. So let us know what matters to you and maybe we'll talk about it on an upcoming episode. Until then, thanks for watching Carry Matters and thanks for choosing to call Carry home. You're watching Carry TV.